In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add the little tiny font based icons next to your menu links and even to your optimize press buttons or your overlay optimizer buttons as well. Now, firstly, I do have to give credit to our tech support genius, Kevin, who leads up the tech support here at optimize press. He actually wrote a great article on his own blog showing you how to do this. And I went through his tutorial and I thought I'd make a little tutorial just to show you guys as well. So firstly, I want to say big thank you to Kevin and really you guys, you can use this in your own site. So let's take a look. So to create the font based icons, first thing we need to do is go over to a site called font awesome. Now the link is below this video on the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you jump over to the blog and you can see it. Here it is font awesome. First thing we're going to do is go to the get started link at the top and we click on that and here it gives you some options on how you can install the CSS. Now I'm choosing the easiest route. This is actually means it's hosted by someone else so you could actually if you're worried about page speed and things and you like to keep things on your own server space you could follow some of the other instructions on how you can install the um, CSS files but for this example I'm going to use this link here which I'll copy and I go back over to my optimize press dashboard. I'm going to the analytics and tracking, expand that. And then I want to paste in here in the top box, which is in the head section of my pages. And you could apply this just individually on each page. I'm going to put it globally on the global CSS. So I'm going to paste it here below this Google Analytics script. Scroll to the bottom and click Save Settings. Now next I've got a page here which I've made. You can see I've put in the menu. I've got a menu at the top. So what I'm going to do is be adding the font, um, the font based icons to this menu here. So again what we'll do, we'll jump over to the dashboard. I'm going to my appearance on the left and then menus. And you can see here this is where we've got the links for our menu. So what I'm going to do, go back to font awesome and at the top I'm going to click on icons. And then I'm going to start picking. You can scroll down. There's, you know, there's hundreds of icons to choose from. I mean, some of these are great. There's like keys and things, and like headphones, and lots of sort of uh, like um, office type icons, or medical icons, or like computer type icons, software icons. So generally, things you see like power buttons. You know, there's a mixture of everything here, and there's also some fun ones as well. Or you can just search at the top. I'm going to type in home because I want to give my home a um, button. So I'm going to see here home, click on that and hit this is the code I need. All I need to do is copy is this piece of LI script here. So copy that. I'm going to go back to my menu and I'm going to paste it in front of where it says home. Okay. And just add in a space there. And then I'm going to do one for contact. So if I go back to examples and then oops, go back to icons and then just type in phone. You can see here there's phones. I'm going to choose this one. Copy that Go back to my menu. And I'm going to paste it there and click space. And I've got one for join. And I think I'm going to choose. I saw a jet engine, a fighter jet. I'm going to choose that one for join. And I'm going to again copy that. Back to my menu. I'm going to paste it in front of the word join. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll click save menu. And then if I go back to my page here and refresh the page, you'll now see that I've got my little font based icons appearing at the top here. Now, if I go back to font awesome, and I go to the examples section at the top, it will show you some of the things you can do with all the different font based icons. So you've got different styles of sizes. You can see here, here's the piece of code. And the default is generally FA uh, dash LG, which is that small one. And then you've got two times, three times, and four times. You can increase the size of these icons if you like. You can also set fixed width icons here by using the FA dash FW code. Okay, and so on and so forth. Really, you can look through and see all the examples. You've got bullet list icons. You've got, you know, you can increase the size of them. You can use them for borders or pulled icons. You've got stacked icons and things. There's lots of examples here and you can have fun with these like you can really put some animated work into your pages and um, you know things like uh, things if you've got moving things maybe things are loading or you're just trying to draw attention to certain areas of your page like a landing page you know you could have maybe a spinning icon of some kind 
No, that was above the opt-in form. Obviously something that maybe could draw attention, not actually distract too much. That would work well. Um, so there's lots to play with here. We can obviously increase these. I could go and increase the size of my icons by using the FA two times. You can see, go back to my icon here and you can increase it a bit more. Um, something you could try here is maybe the fixed width. It might actually set a fixed width for the icons. Actually, let's just try this fixed width. I'll copy this FA FW and just to see what it does on my... I've got to paste it in there. If I click Save Menu, I'm not sure if this is going to set, uh, set the width of these. If I reload. Okay, it's not changed much on that one at all. I imagine what it's um, if you've got text that's quite close to the icon, then that's what it'll do. But it's worth just playing around with these. Have some fun. Yeah, it just adds a bit more. Let's just remove that. There we go. It just adds a bit more effect to your pages, makes your menu links look a bit more interesting. You know, it also resembles maybe what the link is about. Um, so have some fun, play with them. You could also add them to the overlay optimizer buttons. You can also add them to just optimize press default buttons. Let's see, let's jump in and do that as well. If I go to the live editor here, we've got this register button. Let's let the page load. We've got this register button. Let's say I was going to add, let's add a new row above a two column row. And what we'll do is let's just change the background color. I'm just going to guess that color slightly there, a bit darker. What I could do then is maybe take this overlay, let's clone this, take this one and drag it up to here. And then let's say we wanted to add something in this button. So for register, Maybe if I go back to icons and just search for register, there's nothing there. Um, join, like a little sign in icon. Let's see if we've got a key. Let's use the key for this one. So go back, I'm going to copy the li class fa fa key part. Go copy that. Go back to my page that I'm working on here. And this is the first button inside the overlay optimizer. So let's open up that. here's my button here and if I expand the text I should be able to just pop the key in there and you can see it's appeared in the example above and I click insert and you can see my key is then is that now there you can see this text is actually dropped below here on this so you could actually remove the arrows if you wanted and if I go up to here now and reload this page you can see we've got the little keys appearing in the overlay optimizer overlay optimizer button that was there. Obviously this row you need to expand the padding a bit just to make it look better and maybe change the color. But there you go, you see I've added now added a font based icon into one of my overlay buttons. This will work for any default buttons and also text inside your pages and things. So you now have some fun, play around with it. Font based icons is an absolute awesome piece of software or coding that someone has put together or this um, chap has put together. You can read more on the site. He's got an Amazon wish list. you want to go and buy him something um, you know, treat the man who, or, or lady, sorry, I actually don't know exactly who it is. Treat the person, they put a lot of time into coding this stuff. Um, so also reference them if you want, you know, to show people where you're using the font-based icons in your own pages. But just adds a nice little effect to your design. So have some fun with it and enjoy. Mm -hmm.